has became, become a sort of a trite, I keep on repeating the same words over and over again because I think some people need to listen to us. It is a trite, a cliche or a hackneyed phrase. Means it's an archaic thing now. Like Dr. Saab and other dignitaries who have uh, spoken over it over and over again about the broad awareness which we need to uh, spread to masses. Everybody knows that drug abuse is, the word abuse in itself is a connotation. It means that it's injurious and harmful to health. And everybody knows that. We keep on harping the same phrase, repeating the same phrase again, uh, phrase again and again. But then, do we do anything on ground or not? That is the big question. Kya hum ground par kuch karte hai ki sirf baate hi karte hai? We do and we have done a lot of things. The society at, society at large, in fact the civil and the police administration as well. But then being from police administration, I would like to point out certain issues from our side and, and some requests from our side as well. When I talk about the civil society, I would request you people, the children over here, some adults as well, to refrain from falling into this trap. Read a lot. Become a voracious reader. It's very important. Some people say that history, history is a thing of the past. It is actually not a thing of the past. History is a thing which takes us into the future. It acts as a conduit between the past and the present. And in fact, for future as well. When you look at history, it's not just about ancient history, medieval or modern. History could be yesterday's happenings as well. Like if somebody is a drug addict, what has happened to him? His family is destroyed, his whole world is destroyed, he himself gets destroyed. So you people need to think, what are the repercussions, the bad things which happen to you and your family and your society? So that is, that, is, that is being a good student of history. But then, on the other hand, we have a lot of uh, organizations or uh, departments, civil organizations rather, like the OCA and Mohalla committees as well. Now, it, it is their role that instead of speaking over and over again, they do something substantial on ground. It is not the duty of government only that they will come forward and they will keep on thinking about people. Of course, they have to, but then they have limitation of resources as well. They have to go for optimum utilization of resources. And of course, this is, this is a high priority. We cannot, I cannot back away from this, that this is not a priority. The, the number one priority of police department at this point in time is stopping drug abuse. And for that, there are two, two phases of the game. A punitive phase where we book uh, the accused or criminals, I, 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 somehow I don't feel that everybody of them is a criminal. Some of them really need our care and attention. The punitive action which means booking them under various uh, sections of law or laws which have been passed by parliament from time to time like NDPS etc etc. And then it should be followed by some, some a healing touch as well. Uh, punitive plus healing, like people who get addicted because of because of being in bad company, because of peer pressure, because of various uh, causes which have been highlighted by Dr. Saab, it becomes important for us to think, to keep, keep to put our feet in their shoes. As Dr. Saab himself pointed out, the withdrawal symptoms creeping, and some people have even died. Some people have about eight years of age who has uh, resorted to drug abuse and I know him personally and we are trying to maybe rehabilitate him but then look down, look upon down uh, the society and they need your help, the help of the society. Mr. North Kashmir needs is the is establishment of a good drug de-addiction centre. Now Sokor being at uh, being in, in the centre of, it, it, it seems to be the epicentre of uh, uh, North Kashmir, the centre rather, because you, it has got a central location. In, in fact, ADC Sub is working very hard on it and probably will be getting a drug addiction center shortly. Uh, there, are some, there are some provisions for it. There are some laws which we have to follow. 
which of course is on it, on that, and our respected DC Madam Water probably will be getting a drug in the addition center very shortly. Being from police, I would like to point out one more thing. Terrorism, terrorism is also linked to, linked to uh, drugs. Uh, the way we, I mean, there is a specific term which has become very common amongst the masses, narco-terrorism. We know that there are a lot of channels, uh, channels coming from Afghanistan, Pakistan, wherein they try to uh, sneak in people with, uh, with, with different sort of uh, narcotic, and narcotic substances, with drugs in short. There is no need to go into the nitty gritty of that. Now, the money which comes out of that drug, let it be clear to you, the money which comes out of the proceeds, I mean, when, 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 when a person sells that drug, that is used for funding militants and terrorists. And that is a very bad thing. terrorism drugs वो टेररिज्म में यूज किया जाता है मिलिटेंसी मिलिटेंसी जो है इट रन्स अ लॉट इट गेट्स इट्स प्योर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम ड्रग 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 सॉ सो यू ये भी आपके लिए बहुत जरूरी बात है ये आपको सोचना है कि जो मिलिटेंसी में जो पैसा आता है मिलिटेंट को चलाने के लिए या टेररिज्म को चलाने के लिए इसमें ड्रग्स का बहुत बड़ा हाथ है जो क्रॉस बॉर्डर टेररिज्म चलती है वहां से ड्रग्स आते हैं वो इसलिए यूज होता है तो आप समझिए ये समझने की बात है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग so both the things are interlinked with each other. I don't want, as I said earlier, I don't want to go into the nitty gritty of that thing. But आप लोग थोड़ा study करिए, पढ़िए, पढ़ने की habit एक सबसे best habit है. जैसे people keep on saying books are the best things, best friends are the. And उनके साथ कोई दुश्मनी भी आपकी नहीं हो. A drug detection center which is the need of the art. And if we don't do it, we cannot just go for keeping. I mean, we just we cannot keep on punishing people over and over again. We cannot be harsh on them because because Human nature is such that if you present a softer face also when it's required, then probably things can happen for better. And I would also thank uh, Principal Madam that she has organized uh, this uh, awareness program. And I hope that this will this will this will keep on enlightening the masses, especially children, because you have future. Thank you. Thanks a lot.